In today's world, everything is microservices, but maintaining hundreds or sometimes thousands of microservices with constantly changing infrastructure resources and CI-CD configuration is nearly impossible task for most capable platform teams. Today, we'll look into how AWS Proton solve this by giving platform team the tool needed to manage this complexity while accelerating the development process. Welcome everyone. Today, we'll be talking about how to accelerate your deployment workflow using AWS Proton. My name is Pratip Bakchi. I'm a senior solution architect with Amazon Web Services. So here is our agenda for today's conversation. I'll start with how customers are adopting modern architecture and handling the challenges associated with it. Then I'll introduce you to AWS Proton for self-service infrastructure provisioning. After that, I'll dive deep into the feature overview and cover few use cases where you can use AWS Proton. At the end, I'll talk about Proton availabilities and pricing. But before I conclude, I'll leave few getting started material for you so that you can jump right in after our session. Today's development teams are building apps made out of dozens or hundreds of microservices or individual component, and they are running those in the container and serverless platform. Each of these services are built to be an independent one so that one service can be changed without impacting others and business is also dividing its development team so that they can work on the part of the application or, or the site so that they can move faster with less operational risk. However, it is very important to realize that each of these simple components that has a lot of complexity underneath it. For example, setting up a simple application uh, that uses one of these microservices can require long list of services and configurations such as choosing right compute layer, DNS, load balancing, security, a well-defined CI-CD pipeline, monitoring, the list goes on and on. Developers um, work with the platform team to define and create the infrastructure. And, and define configurations and tie everything together for that particular deployment. And every time the development team change something, the cycle with the platform team has to repeat again to maintain consistency and control among all of these services. However, it's very tricky to do it for one services. And when you have dozens, sometimes of hundreds and thousands of microservices, you need the right tool to do those stuff. You can try DIYing, um, but you have to create manually all the policies. You have to make sure all the governance are in place and security are in place. In addition to it, you also need to make sure your manual process is cost effective. But manual process hurts your velocities. Uh, it has been proven that the team who can self-serve their work and work in parallel, they are able to move faster. With that, let me introduce you to AWS Proton. AWS Proton is a first fully managed application deployment service for container and serverless deployments. It enables the platform team to give developers the easy way to deploy their code using containers and serverless technologies. And using the tools, governance, and visibility needed to ensure the consistent standard and the best practices for your infrastructure and application. With AWS Proton, platform engineers can in, increase their impact in the organization and they can also help the developers to increase their productivity with the well-defined self-service template. Um, platform engineers um, create these templates using AWS Proton down to the granular account level. Like you can go literally each individual environment and go to an AWS account where this environment needs to be deployed and platform engineer can deploy those templates in those accounts. And once platform engineer have created this infrastructure template, developers can point and click through the AWS Proton console or maybe they can use uh, AWS CLI to deploy those across whatever different environment that they have defined. And it provides an interfaces uh, for both of these users, like platform engineers as well as the developers. And many customers, um, like I have many customers 
does not have the whole internal platform with uh, graphic user interface. They want their developers to go to the AWS management console point and click these templates on their own. And then once these templates been, templates been deployed, the platform engineers can um, go and see the status of uh, the template, including the versioning uh, uh, of where those templates are running. And, and if there is any version conflict or drift, they can easily point them out to the developers. Uh, typically, in a Proton lifecycle, AWS Proton lifecycle, a platform engineers will manage the creation of the templates uh, for the environments and the services, and then to trigger the environment deployment. So, in the environment deployment, it's actually the AWS resource which are needed for that environment will get deployed, like an ECS cluster, uh, AWS uh, serverless platform, uh, or the components of a serverless application, or maybe an EKS cluster. Um, yeah, including all the peripheral services that you need, a VPC, subnets, and everything. Uh, this environment template can be used to deploy multiple environment. Like if you have an environment, um, if you if you have a situation where you need to deploy your dev environment, test environment, uh, production environment, or pre-production environment, you can have templates for each of these environments. And on the development side, developers can use. AWS Proton as a self-service interface to provision infrastructure and deploy their projects without interacting with the underlying resource. And, and as a developers, you focus on your customer's most important business critical application. You generally do not need to worry about what are your internal underlying resources that you need to deploy your application. That's their platform team's job. So platform team defines the environment, defines the environment, sorry, platform team defines the environment template and the service templates and deploy the environment. And as a developers, you will use AWS Proton, just go and deploy your applications. It is also very important for the platform engineers to be able to see the service that's been deployed by their developers using AWS Proton, uh, including the template version they are running as well as the state of the environment. For that, we have a um, service management dashboard. Here is an example of service management dashboard view that shows the service templates that has been registered using AWS Proton like Fargate Web Services, Lambda data processing in addition to the summary of the deployment that has been made using a particular templates. AWS Proton also makes it easy for platform engineers to identify the deployments which are running out of state templates and update them um, to a latest version directly from AWS Proton console or they can also use uh, AWS CLI to do that. Now let's look into a couple of use cases of AWS Proton. Before AWS Proton, platform engineers had to put a lot of manual efforts uh, and deploy in, uh, to deploy and maintain infrastructure, we re which requires uh, DIY scripts uh, to integrate different services in the stack um, and a lot of coordination, back and forth communication with the development team, which eventually slows they slowed down the organizational growth and the velocities and broke the pause. They used to break the process, um, and which sometimes also overwhelm the platform engineering team itself. And some large enterprises have a dedicated team um, uh, or, uh, to do that, but uh, it isn't feasible for most of the customers or they do not want to maintain if they had to. So we saw an opportunity to make your life easier. So now with AWS Proton, um, a platform engineer can create AWS Proton templates to link environment services and the pipeline with configurable parameters. With uh, AWS Proton, um, developers also can do what they do best, which is focusing on the application uh, development, which are critical for their business. Uh, Proton supports a growing development team through managed features like template versioning, CI/CD integration. With AWS Proton, now you have standardized and version managed well-architected templates. You also have fail-safe defaults with for new developers along with a consolidated view of deployed stack and associated pipelines. And unlike any other solution in AWS Protons, developers won't need to be an expert of underlying infrastructure or learn how to properly 
create and uh, manage infrastructure as code uh, templates like cloud formation templates terraform it's been all abstracted from them all they need they need to do is uh, select the template they want to use input few parameters within the guardrails that has been defined by the operators and deploy their services and focus on the application that they are developing on. Um, AWS program takes care of the entire pipeline, uh, provisions the infrastructure and deploy their code into the new environment. Here is the pricing and the availability of AWS Proton. You do not pay any additional charge for AWS Proton. Pay only for the resources that you create to store and run your application like the cluster that you will be creating, uh, the environment you will be deploying. And there is no minimum fees and no upfront commitments. AWS Proton is generally available um, in following AWS region. Uh, like US East, US East 1 and East, East 2, it is also available in US West, um, Asia Pacific, Europe and Canada Central. Um, at the end, um, I just wanted to conclude by saying we want to make it easy uh, or as easy as possible for you to give your development team great templates. So, we have a growing library of open source templates that are well architected and production ready. Uh, you can use those templates to um, build a production ready infrastructure um, from the get go. We are starting with common use cases uh, like container and the serverless and we will uh, continue to expand these libraries uh, over the period of time based on the customer feedback. Uh, so, here is the link I put it on, on the slide uh, where you can go and download these templates which are available in public in github.com. Once you uh, visit uh, the github.com link which I provided below, you will see um, there are a few pre-baked environment templates provided for you uh, to start a production grade environment um, like ECS and Fargate environment. We also have few service template um, which are uh, which you can use to deploy a polyglot um, applications in, in the environment that you have uh, you created using AWS Proton. In addition to that, I would also like to point out a public workshop that you have or that we have that you can use to um, uh, create an environment template, deploy an environment, create a service template, deploy a polyglot service uh, using uh, that particular service template and in an environment. In addition to that, we also have a section for multi-account deployment um, where you, that you can use to deploy AWS Proton in multiple accounts, the feature I was uh, referring to the uh, to referring to previously in my session. With that, um, uh, as I promised, let me um, share the link um, uh, that you need to have uh, before you leave this session. So, AWS Proton roadmap is public. So, if you wanted to know what are we, what are the items that AWS Proton team is working on, you please uh, uh, go to this particular link. And this is the workshop link that I was referring to. If you have any feedback uh, when you are using AWS Proton, feel free to uh, reach out to Proton feedback um, at Amazon.com. With that, I thank you all. Thank you for attending this session today. Um, here is my LinkedIn profile. Feel, feel free to connect with me if you have any question uh, related to um, application modernization, uh, DevOps, SCICD pipeline. Shoot me a question. I'll, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And again, thank you for joining this session. See you when I see you next. Thanks.